Yep. Okay. Uh, so what you see on the left is the app, and then on the right is the um, the web app. Um, uh, this is actually the testing environment. Um, but basically, um, so the initial version had just like uh, a way to write notes. Uh, let me use. So people will like um, start putting um snippets and and uh and basically they will copy paste this into the ehr and then we added the um, uh dictation so um percent with chest pain period so we, uh, pretty much the same thing that dragon does um and then we added the um, uh, app where you can use to dictate. And just uh, in a, a few weeks ago, we, we added the AI scribe, which uh, let me. So did you just turn on the AI scribe and it just listens yeah. to your conversation with the patient? So, then? so okay. the idea is um, you go into the room um, with your device. And um, later on, we're going to allow users to uh, record using the web application, but for now this was the easiest thing and most convenient, I think. So um, let's see. So basically, you can um, add a patient. Let's see. Um, and it's optional, so you don't have to add a patient if you don't want to. And then we have a, a section where you can put um, helpful information. So um, uh, if you didn't put any patient information here, you could put at least like the the um, age oh, of the patient. Um, what they're presenting for and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, um, the more information you either uh, input in text or, um, or record, uh, the better, because otherwise, you know, um, uh, you get the hallucinations that you get from GPT-4. Um, so, and then we have um, uh, doctors that are using this in the clinic and uh, the hospital, uh, urgent care, ER, uh, nursing homes, um, ambulance. Um, so we have all sorts of users. Um, so let's... Um, uh, we have uh, behavioral health, and I, I think that's like super helpful because you know they you get um, these patients that are just talking about their problems, and uh, it it summarizes everything uh, amazingly accurate. So you can um, create a sub note, um, a note for um, behavioral health. Uh, they also use this format, um, um, a psychologist. But um, I think this is the most common, right? The soap notes, problem oriented. And then um, you can select the setting if you're in the clinic, in the hospital, nursing home, urgent care. So let's do clinic for now. And then if it's a follow up or initial visit. Um, and then you can select the language. Um, I remember when I was in the clinic, um, at some point they got um, scribes for everyone. Uh, from Augmetics. I'm sure you're, you're familiar with the company. Uh, but they only speak English, and most of my patients uh, spoke Spanish, so I couldn't use a scribe. So uh, this is uh, really cool that you can have an actual conversation with a patient in Spanish, and then you get the, the note in English. Um, and then you can decide if you want to um, add, like, uh, billing codes uh, into the notes. Oh, okay. um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it on just for fun. And... So let's do this. Um, let's pretend you're you're the patient and um, you're here for, um, let's say, um, a fever and a cough. And I'll ask you some questions and and just pretend that we have a, a, a clinic. Will it actually hear me? I, I think so. Um, let okay. me increase the volume. That'll be interesting. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully, it works. Um, Excellent. So, 
Hey, Greg, how are you? I'm Dr. Bonilla. How can I help you today? Hey, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a fever, elevated temperature, and a very, very long week of a cough that is worse at night. I see. I see. Um, when did you start with the fever? It was about three days ago. Okay. And how high was your fever? Did you actually measure with a thermometer? It was 102 point. Okay. Wow. Well, so that's really high. Have you been using any medications for the fever? No, nah, just some Tylenol here and there to help me sleep. Okay. And, and you mentioned that you've been also coughing. A lot of coughing. Yeah. A lot of phlegm. Okay. Up. Okay. And also, uh, have you been coughing for the last three days or this started earlier? A little bit earlier, about five days. Okay. Okay. And anyone sick at home? Or I work. I live by myself. Okay. Okay. You're, so you're 78. So you're, you're not. Are you working? Uh, no longer yeah, retired. Working, no. Okay. Well. Um, so no one's sick at, at home. And uh, do you smoke or used to smoke? I used to smoke okay. a couple packs a day. Okay. Have you ever been diagnosed with um, emphysema, COPD? Uh, COPD. I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any uh, inhalers or any medications that you use? I try not to use medications. Okay. Excellent. Uh, have you noticed any wheezing? A little bit of wheezing. Yeah, okay. Which is relatively normal for me. I see. I see. Are you still smoking or you already quit? I've tried to quit a few times, but still smoke a few cigarettes here and I there. I see. Okay. Well, I think it's a good idea to stop smoking because um, it it's going to make your cough worse at least for a few days and, and then we'll talk about um, helping you quit but anyway so let's talk more about the the, the cough and the fever um, so I, I want to uh, listen to your lungs um, is that okay yep sounds okay good. so let me just lift your shirt over here and take a deep breath Excellent. Let me listen to the other lung. Okay. Well, your lungs, um, I, I hear a little bit of, of wheezing in your lungs and uh, uh, some crackles on both lungs. Um, and you sound a little tight. Um, so uh, let me check your oxygen really quick. And it seems like your oxygen saturation is 92%, which is uh, a little bit low. Um, I'm going to ask my nurse to give you a, a breathing treatment, uh, with albuterol, and I think you're going to start feeling better. And I'm going to give you, um, uh, a dose of prednisone, um, and, uh, you're going to start feeling better. Um, I'm, I'm afraid that you might have a touch of pneumonia. Uh, seems like you're having, um, uh, an exacerbation of your COPD or emphysema, and on top of that, you, you might have pneumonia. So what I want to do is give you a treatment with antibiotics. I'm going to prescribe uh, this medication called doxycycline. And uh, you're going to take 100 milligrams twice a day. So a tablet uh, twice a day uh, for a week. Uh, I'm going to send that to your pharmacy. And what, what pharmacy do you use? Uh, the Rite Aid over on uh, 2nd and Fitzwater. Excellent. Okay, so we'll send it there. Uh, I'm going to send some inhalers. So if you start having uh, shortness of breath, I'm going to send this uh, medication called albuterol. And basically, have you used an inhaler before? I have, yeah. Okay. I have one at home, but I rarely use okay, it. Okay, well, I'll send another one just in case that one is expired. And um but so basically you do two puffs every time you start feeling short of breath and you could use it every few hours, every uh, four hours or so. And then I'm also going to send prednisone 60 milligrams and I want you to take that for a week. You're going to get your uh, first dose uh, today here in the clinic and then just finish the, the rest of the uh, course at, uh, during the next few days. So... Um, you should start feeling better with this treatment, but if after a couple of days you're still having fever, your shortness of breath uh, is getting worse, please give me a call. And if it's uh, if it's really bad, just go to uh, the emergency room. But uh, I think um, this will make you feel better. And definitely don't smoke during the next few days. 
uh, and I want to give you a follow up appointment in a week and uh, just to check on you and make sure you're improving. This uh, sounds like a plan. Sounds good. Doctor. Excellent. Well, nice to meet you and hope you get better. Thanks. All right, this will be interesting. To see. Excellent. So, uh, and then if you have time, I, I wanted to do uh, uh, something uh, radiology related. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I click transcribe notes and um, it's gonna uh, start a transcription. And that transcription usually takes a few seconds. Um, let's see. And so while that's processing, so uh, I will have to jump off in a couple of minutes because my uh, partner has a, a meeting okay, as good, well. Good. But in terms of like where do you see this going for yourself like what is the ultimate goal for you and for chart notes and it, it's interesting also because it seems like you're taking a very different approach from the other players that you mentioned like automatics nuance deep scribe like all those people all of them seem to be going after like enterprise yeah. right so top down approach you're very much going from like a bottoms up approach trying to get individual physicians and clinicians to start using chart note and then probably expanding up the ladder in terms of who you're talking to but in terms of like where do you see this going or where do you want this going like what is the ultimate goal for you um to get out of the company well um i'll obviously uh financial freedom <laughs> but uh but you know uh this is something that i deeply enjoy i mean um getting uh when i i meet with my team on on mondays morning so when i wake up on monday like i'm super excited because i get to work on this so it's something that i'm really passionate about and and i have experienced burnout first hand experience from just all the paperwork that we deal as doctors and especially in primary care and you know all these scribes that uh, I mean, like usually only uh, this the uh, surgical specialties can afford uh, the scribes, right? And and I'm sure like augmentics, I mean augmentics um, nuance coming with DAX, it seems like it's gonna be at least like a two thousand dollars a month or some, something crazy like that. Maybe maybe they'll decrease the price, but I. I feel like uh there is a market for uh an affordable um option and i don't have to spend tons of money on marketing and in fact i don't spend any money on marketing it's all word of mouth and uh and if i can bring something to the market that really helps doctors that's like uh, uh, very satisfying for me uh but the, the goal is like you said is go bottoms up so um i i wanna um get as many um, uh, users as possible. And then if there's a clinic that realizes that their doctors are using uh, chart notes and uh, they want to get a, a Teams plan, then we're ready for that. So that's how we we, we have a few teams already, uh, but that, that will be the plan for, for the next few years. Um, and then long-term, you know, I've always thought about there's a need for a better EHR. <laughs> so uh, who knows if uh, we'll get into that. But I mean, definitely uh, th there's, uh, it will be amazing if we can grow into something like that. Well, that's awesome. So did it actually transfer? Yeah, so then? let's see. It seems like it's, it. um, Okay, so this is your note. Uh, let's see. Can you um, let me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. So I'll, I'll go ahead and read it. So, seventy-eight-year-old female presents with a fever of one hundred two point one for the past three days and a cough with phlegm production for the past five days. The cough is worse at night. The patient has a history of COPD as a former smoker. Currently smoking a few cigarettes occasionally. Wow. She's uh, not been using any medications for the fever, only taking Tylenol occasionally to help her sleep. She reports some wheezing, which is normal for her. She lives alone and is retired. That's pretty good. That's 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 pretty good. So physical exam reveals wheezing and crackles in both lungs, oxygen saturation 92%. Assessment, COPD exasperation and possible pneumonia. Uh, plan, administer breathing treatment with albuterol in the clinic, doxycycline chorus, an inhaler, prednisone, advise the patient to stop smoking. Yeah, that's awesome. And that, I mean, that took what, like maybe a minute and yeah. a half to transcribe that entire thing, get it into a, a work. So, so like I, cool. I tell you, like when I first saw this, like this is like just mind blowing. If, if, uh, and 
and the users that are uh, using this in the clinic right now, they're, they're just addicted to it. <laughs> I mean, what, what? See, that's the thing. I, I think you're charging. You're not charging. No, no, actually, I have users tell uh, me, you're, uh, I want to pay you more. <laughs> and, 